Hi Lee ho and howdly doodly my stitcherinos, my name is Ashley aka Yastitch. I thank you. And welcome to my Flosstube channel where I discuss my cross stitch and anything else that's happened to me over the past few weeks that I feel that you guys need to know about. Which in all honesty is never much because nothing goes on in my life which has been quite nice recently because it's allowed me to do a load of stitching. Anywho. If you are a new viewer, or if you are a returning viewer, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and listen to what is essentially the ramblings of a madman, and enjoy the chaos that will ensue. I mean, can't really blame me, you're the one who clicked the button, so that's why you're here. Um, so, without further ado, let's get on, shall we? I do want to quickly start off just by saying a quick thank you to everybody who has subscribed over the past month um my numbers shot up quite a lot and i'm now in the 400 somewhere which i wow why but wow um so to all of you that did and are now watching thank you so much it really really is appreciated that you're joining me on this adventure um i do believe in part it was thanks to dizzy stitcher aka darren who is a dude who i've mentioned previously you need to go watch him um he shouted me out recently um and i believe that's probably what sent me over a load more people so darren or just the people off their own backs thank you so as i said not much really happened over the past four weeks um and my nephew did have a birthday party which was nice and then my sister's other half had uh, like a barbecue for his birthday party which there was boxing at as well on the tv i mean but i mean in all honesty you know if it was there it'd be nice and men jumping around semi-naked getting sweaty and acting all gruff <sighs> girl girl and guys some guys but all girl um which was fun so yeah that was a nice weekend i mean just full of fun family frolics and lots of alcohol which just did not go down too well with me i mean let's let's give you an idea of how my weekend went for that weekend so friday nephew's birthday party yeah saturday sisters of the house birthday party yeah sunday girl bye no I'm, I'm not getting up i'm not doing anything i can't do anything physically my body will not let me self-inflicted but no i'm the victim here i'm the victim so luckily and lovingly i got looked after by my other half which bless him it should have been the other way around because he was actually recovering from his second jab in which he really was not well for um but i mean we're both fine now you know and obviously i'm here being amazing for you so it all worked out but yeah that weekend it was it was a close call if I was going to make it through, if I'm honest, but I said I did, I hit. So, yeah, I say not much happened, so I did get a lot of cross-stitch done um, this last few weeks, um, which has been nice. So, uh, let's jump into that, shall we? So, starting out my whips, I'm going to show life in the countryside, which came about, um, as I said in the previous video, uh, I'm doing it in memory of my nan, um, who... Did this beautiful country lane cross stitch project years ago that's beautiful i completely absolutely adore it um and when i was online i found this kit and it just felt like kismet and i had to have it so um let's get the process started here is what it will look like when it is finished and here's what it looked like last time that you saw it And here is what it looks like now. So if some of you can tell, maybe, um, some of the grass down here has been completed. And just a little bit up here, I've done some sky, which just a little pop of extra colour in there. Um, nice, nice. I mean, as you're probably all wondering, because you do, it's the 14 count white ada with the floss that came in the bag so that's that one so yeah the the original um one that my nan did i believe my auntie jill now has so um jill if you found me and you're watching this then can i have a picture because i'd like to show the awesomeness to these guys um if you're not watching then 
never mind and I'll just message you outside Lost Tube and hopefully get a picture so you guys can see the awesomeness. But yeah, uh, so that was life in the countryside. Next in the lineup is my Six Wives of Henry VIII piece, um, which thank you to my viewer Sherry Gary, who referred to them as Hank and his harem, which I shall be stealing and using going forward because it sounds fabulous and amazing. So, mine, yas. Um, I think that's the first ever actual yas that I've done on the uh, stream, but hey ho. Um, so, here is what it will look like when it is finished. And here's what it looked like last time you saw it. And here's what it looks like now. So as you can see, I've kind of given Henry a head and a little bit of a jacket. Um, I mean, you know, we're in autumn now and winter's coming, so it's getting cold. He's going to need to get a bit warm. Um, so yeah, I managed to get in on that, which is quite nice. As I say about all my pieces because they're quite nice, but yeah, that's Hank and his harem, which I was able to get a lot more stitching in because I'll explain shortly why. But that was Hank and his harem. Hope you enjoyed. Third in line is the Evolution Pokemon cross stitch I've been doing that's coming along very nicely. Thank you very much. Um, I was getting you guys involved and asking, um, about which pieces you'd like me to do next and thanks to one Kaylee Rogers, cheers girl, um, we got a decision. So here's what it looked like last time you saw it and here's what it looks like now. So thanks to Kaylee's suggestion we have done the sun for Espeon very very pretty very very pretty leaving only the ice for glaceon the butterflies for sylveon and the water down here for vaporeon and while i'm here and looking at it actually the border around the outside i had a thought recently about doing um for any of you that know the original pokemon kind of like font it's like a yellow and blue do you think that might be an idea to do around the outside as that or maybe have the corresponding colour to the relevant Eevee around the outside, like some blues around the outside of Glaceon, some greens around Leafeon, etc, etc, um, or any other ideas. So if any of you have got any suggestions or just want to talk about it, feel free to stick it in the comments and I'll have a look-see. 14 count, white hater, beautiful floss. Yeah. Next up, um, I, I'm I'm not going to beat around the bush. I got a finish, guys. I got an actual finish. Like I mean, it's well, it, it's not a fur fur object. It's a fur object because I still need to get a frame for it. Um, but the first one is I'm going to show is the one I'm doing for my sister, the always be yourself. Um, so um, here, here's what it will look like when it's finished. Here's what it looked like last time you saw it. <laughs> and here is what it looks like now. Oh, just it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. Beautiful Emma Condon piece from the cross stitch for the Soul book that I purchased previously. Um, which, it's, I'm as I said last time, I really, really enjoyed stitching this and when I got to the end, I was a little bit sad that it was done, to be honest, but I remedied that by going back and changing something. See whether that is in the middle at the bottom. Originally, if you remember from the last picture, that was in a different font, and I really didn't think that it fit too well. So I went back, frogged that out, and just put it in at the same um, kind of font. That's the word I want, yeah. Uh, font. Um, and then put an apostrophe between the E and the S of ones, because, you know, love an apostrophe. Kind of just a pretentious comma because it's higher, isn't it, really? But any Rambling, rambling. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that one, which I say, Emma Congdon, beautiful piece. Um, 14 count, Y-Ada, on closest floss that I could find that matched. Um, 
so yeah once i've got a frame for that hopefully next i say hopefully i've just got to wait for payday honestly um because yeah it's been a bit of a month um but yeah once i've got a frame for it hopefully next episode i'll be able to show you the framed piece that i've given to my sister next up finish number two now this was the piece that was giving me the most guilt because as i've said previously my friend's birthday was in june and i've just finished it again it's another fo it's not an ffo because you need to get a frame um but Let's let's show you the picture of what this beautiful fourteen count navy Ada looked like last time that you saw it. And here is what it looks like now. Oh, there are the people. So we've got a lot more in there we've got a load more characters some other sayings and bits and bobs which i'm in all honesty i'm just glad it's finished to be fair it's been a little bit of a bane of my life but i i mean don't get me wrong i've enjoyed stitching it you know so once we have a beautiful frame for the beautiful piece that will go straight over to becky oh i hope it's not watching yet and if you are watching i hope you see the funny side of it taking this long it's not a joke, I just hope you see the funny side. <laughs> um, so yeah, as soon as I find a frame, that will be going to a friend. Um, also, just as a, while well, I've got you guys again still, uh, obviously around the edges, where I've been using this, it's obviously been fraying. Now, I know a lot of people do what I believe is called surging um, around the edges. Now, I don't have... A sewing machine or even have the ability to sew. Can any of you guys give me any ideas, hints, tips and things um, on what I can do when I get a piece of Ada that isn't like that? Um, is it okay just to like stitch around the edge to make sure that it doesn't fall apart or I really don't know. I mean I could probably find some YouTube videos on what to do but I like asking you guys questions um, so I'm asking. So yeah if you guys know of any way that I can surge the outside without using a um sewing machine i mean looking at it maybe some kind of tape like masking tape or something actually back right okay so yeah any ideas would be greatly appreciated i uh, thank you with the two finishes there which i completed quite early on um in the month between then to now um it allowed me to do all the other stitching that I've done, which for me was really, really appreciated because, like I say, the guilt is now gone and I can focus on other things and the pressure's come off. Um, it's also allowed me to get a new start going. So, um, I've got a couple of gifts that I need to do coming up, so I picked one. The one that I picked is another Emma Condon piece, which I will put in what it looks like when it's finished. Yeah. And here is what it looks like now. So as you can see, the colours are a little bit different from what's in the original picture. Reason for that being is that my sister wanted me to do it a little bit more pink for my niece. So I went through, looked at the pattern, changed things out, moved bits around. I didn't move bits around the pattern, it's still exactly the same, just the colours that I changed. Um, so I did that and started stitching. Um, the bit up here, this R. Now the colour I put on top personally feels a little bit too bright for what's underneath it. What do you guys think? I mean, it still it kind of looks all right there, but when you look at it in real life, like yeah it just seems a little bit too bright pinky what do you guys think i'm i mean i'm gonna leave it and not stitch that color for a while just in case i do decide to pull it out um but yeah if you guys any thoughts suggestions ideas throw them in the comments and i'll have a look but yeah that one is the one for my sister like i say it says when it rains look for rainbows and when it's dark look for stars which kind of the way that my family works really I mean we always find the brighter side of everything and always try and 
make the best out of what we've got. I mean, it's either that or it's some kind of ignorance being bliss. But that's too philosophical for a Sunday and especially a floss tube right now. We're just here for the cross stitching, aren't we? Yes. Here are going to be my shout outs. Now, the first person I want to shout out has become a staple of the floss tube community. It really, really has. And if you don't know who he is, you're going to want to know who he is. So first up, Chris Cross Stitch. Chris is an absolute gem of a human being. He really, really is. He has got such a big, big heart and that shows in everything that he does on his channel. I mean, not only is there Cross Stitch, I mean, he, he gets the community together. He literally gets us all involved. Currently, he has this thing called Ted's Change Jar, which is for one of his other subscribers um, that he set up, that however many comments he gets, he's going to put certain amounts of money into the Ted's Change Jar. And at the end, he's going to send it to Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, which allows children up to the age of five to get a book a month, up to the age of five, because reading is fundamental two children and drag queens as well but children more so um yeah he's done that um he he has stories now when i say stories the stories these guys tell he was there they come from his heart and not only do they entertain they will pull at your heartstrings as well and just one of the greatest greatest people that i've met on the internet and I really really want to big him up so crisscross stitch please go and check him out I'll obviously him and everything else that I need to I'll throw in the bits below but Chris go see him next up I would like to shout out Sarah aka clumsy stitcher on floss tube she is someone who I've known about for a while now she was again one of the other people that I started watching um, in the beginning and she the pieces that she does are just as for people who know me are just so colorful and fun and exciting and that's what I like in my floss tube and, well, and my pieces as well um, she's currently doing Advent Animals um, by Brooks Books and she's got a lovely Zelda piece and she's doing a an Emma Congdon The Shire from Lord of the Rings piece which my geek chicness is very very happy for um saying so, she recently also got married which I say congratulations to you both hope the day was a lovely affair and that's probably not the best word to use there probably it was a lovely day event party greatness happy for you both um yeah and so sarah i will stick up here clumsy stitcher go give her a check out you will not be disappointed appropriate of what i just said about sarah's um pieces uh i do just want to say i've noticed out there i know i use the phrase geek chic a lot um because when i first started this i thought i was one of the only that were out there um but I don't know if it's just how the world works. Since kind of coming on here and talking about my geekiness, cheekiness, um, I found a few more geeks. I mean, like I say, with the Sarah pieces that she does, and there's some pieces that Michal at Star Parade has done, um, and other people that I've seen since. Notice that there's a few more of us than I realised. So I'm coining the phrase, a hashtag that I will start using on um, Instagram, because I'm going to start putting my stuff up on Instagram now. Um, and... It's just going to be hashtag nerd herd because we're just a herd of nerds, really, and that's what that stands for. Just want to throw that out there. So if any of you want to join the hashtag, you don't have to. It's just something fun and frolicky for people to do. But if you get the inclination, please feel free. Hashtag nerd, hashtag nerd herd geek. One other random little thing I want to put in here. Um, I've got a question recently asked, and someone just asked me if I stitch in hand or if I use frames or whatever. In all honesty, it's a mixture of hand and cue snap. Um, but when stitching in hand, I do have a tiny little friend that helps me out. Is she beautiful? She doesn't have a name, but 
which is great. But I kind of use her as a clip. So using the Pokemon cross stitch as an example, I'm just gonna quickly show you what I do. So I roll, not that you can actually see this, but you know, I'm, I'm rolling up, I'm, I'm giving it a roll, giving it a roll. Just, you know, sides there, beautiful, beautiful. But then once it's a little bit tighter, because it's gotta be a bit tighter in all honesty, um, turn it around like so. Then what I do is my clip, boom. And then I just stitch like so. Ooh, if you can see that. So yeah, my little clip, just a hair clip. Not NIP from Claire's accessories before they went under. Well, I don't know if they've gone under anywhere else, but they're not in where I live anymore. So I don't know really, but that's what I use. Just want to let you guys know that. So going forwards, I'm going to be continuing with the piece for my niece as is a gift. Um, her birthday is in November, but there's no way it's going to be done by then. So probably a Christmas present if I can get it done by then. Um, for her, so that'll be that. Um, also, I mentioned previously about another gift that I was going to do for one of my friends, um, which I bought this beautiful green, forest green, Ada, 14 count, <laughs> um, for, and the piece itself is from the Emma Congdon Cross Stitch for the Earth P, uh, book, and looks like so. Between two pines is a doorway to a new world which I cannot wait to get started. So I may start that coming up, but again, I'm not gonna let them stress me out. Um, Hank and his harem, obviously, and the Pokemon cross stitch, if any of you have got any suggestions, requests, put it all down in the doobly-doos and I'll see what I do on that one. And then just whatever else of my stitching I get done, I will do. I normally stitch like one piece a week and focus on it once a week, so I've at least worked on four pieces. Normally the Pokemon one I can bash out like a bit in an evening, hopefully. I mean, saying that, in all honesty, the water and the ice might take a little bit longer than that, but it'll be what it'll be. It's fun. So yeah, uh, that's that. I'm going to finish up here and say thank you to everybody who has made it this far in the video and continues to follow me on my awkward and chaotic floss tube adventure it really really from the bottom of my heart is appreciated thank you so much um you can feel free to like comment subscribe because that's what people have to say and do in bitsy i mean you don't have to it's nice if you want to but you don't have to um if not if when i see you next time it will be past halloween so i hope you if you're watching it before 31st have or if you're watching it past had a lovely halloween got all of your cross stitches projects done that you wanted for decorations um hope you don't get too scared and don't eat too many sweets or well guys I'm not going to tell you not to eat too many sweets i'm not your mum you can do what you want um but yeah up and Till I see you next day, wish you all the best, hope you have a lovely stitch in time, and I'll catch you all in a month. Bye!